Hey everyone! Oh my god, it's been such a long time since I've done one of these videos. This time I have a baby with me, so it's gonna be a whole new situation. I know that CBX Terminal has been upgraded once again, so it's gonna be my first time that we see it. We're pulling up here, so I am traveling by myself and the baby so it is gonna be a bit of a challenge but i'm gonna try to do my best to show you guys as best as i can how to navigate this and even with the changes like i said it's new to me but i'm hoping that the gist of it is still pretty similar to what it's always been right now um my boyfriend is bringing me a maleta cart they're all outside you get them for free and well yeah so we pulled up here as you guys can see um this is at the beginning you can get the little carritos they're from the front there it's three in the morning so it is pretty um empty right now the outside still looks the same i believe it's the inside that has changed but yeah loading this up and Let's hope for the best. So you guys, there used to be all the little filas here, but you don't come and stop here anymore, which honestly, that makes more sense because it was like, we already have our boarding pass. Why are we still having to line up here and then drop off luggage over there? These are the requirements for carry-ons, which again, a personal item is literally like a backpack and a carry-on is a carry-on like these two but yeah guys this is what it's looking like here and then you can get your boarding pass from the app or you can get it from here and then over here this still remains the same oh yeah i guess it's everything kind of looks the same but here is where you come and scan your passport stuff at these computers i'm not gonna go through the lines because why and you guys have seen the videos on this so i'm not gonna show it so you know here whatever touch the screen you're gonna fill all of this out and then afterwards it's gonna ask us to scan the first page of the passport here so i'm gonna put my phone down so i could do that so we just printed these out and we're gonna get scanned here so we scanned our boarding passes those little things open if you don't have tbx tickets you can buy them there and then you just come here i honestly you guys this is literally the same thing i literally thought it was going to be upgraded i don't know why i got an email saying that but it's literally looking exactly the same now we're gonna take the elevator okay so we just made it out of the elevator and we are gonna go into the puente which like i mentioned before is literally just a long hallway for the sake of me having this little baby i'm not gonna show you guys this is literally the same situation okay i got cut off over there but i guess i'll show you guys finally the line between Mexico and US. That's literally the border right there. And that's I think where the the hallway will mark to, right? <laughs> We're officially in Mexico, Papa. I got this kangaroo thing on me. So it's honestly not that hard. And you know with my little traveling like a pro <clears throat> honestly once we get past immigration i feel like i'm solid because sometimes they like to trip they've never tripped on me i've seen them trip on other people and so it just makes you a little nervous um but it's literally nothing like too extreme they ask me like how long you're going for if you're gonna have to pay you pay if you're traveling for seven or more days if you're a u.s citizen 
and if they do need you to pay i believe the last time they had like these ipad monitors and they only accepted card but once again we'll see as we get up over there we're literally almost there okay this is a little different you still have to go all the way down this way but i guess it's not and this is what i guess is the new construction oh wow this literally cuts through so much like we're literally already at the airport Okay, you guys, so those were immigration, and this is all new here. So, we come to these terminals now, and we're with Volari. This is where you're gonna document and be your bags, which, like I said, that makes more sense now. Saint is compasso de aborda. So, and as you guys can see, the line is long. So make sure to come early. So when we initially got here it was 3 a.m. Now it's 3.40, so literally 40 minutes from getting dropped off to getting to this point. And then now we wait in line um, to do baggage drop and everything. I guess the one thing that I can see kind of not working out here is if you have excess on that vessel, you used to be able to weigh them in the front. Um, and if anything was left over, like I would just quickly take it out and give it to my family member here. I don't know what I'm gonna do if you do. There is still weights and where to like weigh your baggage up at the front. So I guess you could do it beforehand just so you know by the time you get to here that you won't be going overboard. But you know, sometimes there's little things here and there that it's like, oh, you know, your bag is too big or oh, this because now this is where you first come in contact with a live person so you know a bunch of little things can come up but I'm hoping that nothing gets brought up and that we don't have to pay extra oh and then with immigration the guy was super cool so that was, that was like nothing and once again I should have oh there is like a before we exited there's um yeah. do like declaration and then you can pay there and I totally forgot to ask like how to pay but since I didn't have to then you know um, I'm sure how you're supposed to do all that and what kind of money they accept but I'm um, thinking it's credit cards and Mexican pesos and also dollars so we are officially done with checking in you guys there was only two people checking in like literally for like the first 30 to um 35 minutes now there's some people that more that got there so hopefully it'll go faster but what did what time did i say 3 40 and it's 4 30 now so literally 50 minutes just to tag up all your bags and low-key it just depends how anal the guy at the front desk is gonna be because the one that kept checking everybody he would not let you pass not even one um, pound and then he would actually weigh your carry-on luggage and then when the other people showed up there was like a youngster dude he just asked the girl like to weigh her check baggage and that's it he didn't even weigh the the carry-on so that's the one thing that's unfortunate about all of this because it's like sometimes you are hoping that you'll get away with it other times they're like no and it just depends who you get but anyways now we come over here to the front do elevators or go down and this is like i said this is new this is to get to the gate so we're gonna go ahead and take the elevator gate 10 and I'm honestly 
see in North Oh, this is already like going towards the TJ airport because I see that it's on the outside. Um, oh, and then this is TSA, which I believe I need to stop filming soon. It's pretty empty. So, yay, friends, this is where they're gonna have to take off your shoes and put all of these maletas to the freaking thing. Know, they just told me that the carrito needs to stay on this side. Which sucks because how the am I gonna do it? But no, actually, that's why I bought two carry ons that have wheels. It is officially 4 44. We just passed TSA. All our luggage was fine. And we are here in front of the big jumbo um, screen. And we get to go to um, gate 10. You guys, there was such a sweet um, TSA agent there, like a guy, and he helped me carry the baby while I strapped on all my stuff again, because that was honestly like a hassle, but honestly, I did it like a pro, and I'm happy. So now, we just go to our sala de espera. I am, that was TSA. They have these little walking elevators that I'm gonna take advantage of because this baby weighs like 20 pounds. And yeah, you guys, I, like I said, I feel like such a badass being able to get here by myself. Oh, and I see a lactation icon reflecting on the glass. So I guess there's a lactation room there. And that's pretty cool because that means that I can come feed the baby in a little bit. Or maybe I should go now. Yeah, because it seems like further down there. I'm sweating balls. I mean, bullets. But we just got in here. It looks very cute. I'm going to show you guys. This lactation room is literally right in front of the little conveyor belt. We're going to close it. Can we? Yes, we can. And look, we got a hole little private restroom to ourselves looks new wow stainless steel not even the u.s has those watch there being someone in here oh it's not a lactation room what the fuck it's just a toilet maybe they should give us a little chair here because we're making you feed you huh it meant you supposed to sit on the toilet and feed you. This is still a pretty neat little single private restroom for moms that I think good for the airport doing this because, oh my God, I'm so nervous about breastfeeding on the airplane. Like I hope I don't get a pervy old man next to me. Shit, I don't but, boy, it's a whole thing. How do you feed you? All right. I'm gonna just sit on the couch, I guess. Hope we don't go down. You inside? Oh, yes, he yes. is. So we just got done with the restroom break, and TSA for CBX is back there. But TSA for the regular airport is over here, so that's like how it was always gates one through nine are all the way down that hallway and then um 10 through 18 are literally right here so right after the little um conveyor belt so yeah i might go all the way down there to show you guys i'm not sure i'm still gonna be walking anyways to so the baby doesn't get um fussy but yeah um this whole wing on this side is completely new Everything from this point on that way, it's the same as it's ever went, been. Um, and from my previous videos. So as you guys can see, I just walked up a little bit further. These are gates 10 through 18. It's packed. There's Panda here. And then there's Beats on the other side and the other restaurants. I think there's like Johnny Rockets and like the Taco Place all the way down there. But I have all of this. <laughs> so I was just walking around. And he started to bob his head, so I just put on his sound machine and 
covered him with the little blanket so it's not like bright and stuff for him and then um, i'm gonna actually walk all the way down just to show you guys Like I said, he fell asleep. You guys obviously saw like getting over here on this side. There's more restaurants. Um, let me show you guys. Like um, since he is asleep, I decided I might as well just eat because um, aprovechar that he's not gonna be like fussy or bugging me. Puedo comer a gusto. But there's these tacos and tostadas and mariscos. There's tortas, famosas, I guess. Um, I got one from there, and then there's burritos, but they're not open. This is like the entire eating area. There's like Starbucks and stuff over there too. And then another Starbucks over here. There's this. There's also Johnny Rockets on this side. They sell hamburgers and stuff. Domino's isn't open. Panda is on the other side. So yeah, and then the waiting rooms all guys I realized I didn't do a close out. Another one, but for now, see you guys later.